What have you been doing with that other arm? I've been playing with my cars. You've been playing with your cars and practicing to make it strong, haven't you? Good. And was it easy? Yeah. So it's not too bad that this arm's like this, is it? No. Today is Saturday. We're on day two of Harry's CINT therapy. And he seems in really good spirits today. Now these are a bit harder, isn't it? Good boy, and then you have to keep turning it round three times. All right, that's wow. it. Good boy. Anything that you can think of that's a game, we can actually make into therapy for a child. We want the child to enjoy their therapy so that they get positive experiences with that arm and also so it's not a chore, it should be fun and enjoyable for the child. If you stand it up on the table first, like that, and then if you pick it up with your that's it, H. Yeah! yeah. Okay. During the three weeks, we tailor the treatment. So if a child is, say, weaker in the shoulder, we'll do lots of overhead activities to strengthen the shoulder. If the child's hand is the weakest part, we do lots of um, fine motor activities. Anything really that involves using that hand to make the hand stronger. Push up. It's strong. It's really, it's hard that one, H. I'll show you. Look, push up. You do it. Good boy. And then you flip the catch over. So use your fingers and lift it up. Good. And then you can open the door and tell me what animal you can see in there. A horsey! A horsey! Okay. That's it. You do it like that, look. Good boy, H. That's it, try that again. Harry just thinks it's one big play session. Yeah, I think three hours of play uh, without realising that he's actually, he's actually working on his arm. And yeah. I think that's one of the key things to it. He's learning through play, really. Yeah. It's learning through play. And you don't, you think, oh, by building a tower or by painting something, you think, oh, it's just painting, but it's actually not. It's such an effort and because you have to be so precise when you're doing things that they are using the fine motor skills in their arm and you see, you see them using it more and it's, it's nice to see. This is day five. So just in, in five days, he's been able to hold his spoon properly and feed himself. Um, he's been drinking cups of tea, which is his favourite. He's been playing with Lego, which is tricky with two hands. But no, he's been really good. And we've noticed a really big improvement already. Even though you don't think you're really doing physio, because it just looks like you're playing or Harry's playing, you're actually, he's really using his arm well with all his motor skills and things like that. Every week he has his arm recasted so they can take it off, give him a wash, make sure that he's not he's losing any tone or anything in his other arm, make sure it's all okay underneath. So each, each week um, on day five he'll have his arm recasted. <laughs> it's been a lot different than we thought it was going to be. Some days it's been quite intense, more so because Harry's only four and it's been a bit challenging, he's been tired, but we've kind of, Nikki, Karen and Tamsin have helped to really come over that by teaching him through play. So it doesn't really feel like you're doing intense physiotherapy, but even though it does, so it has been a lot better than we expected it to be. We are halfway through Harry's CIMT programme. He has already made 
some wonderful improvements. Um, he can now um, eat at home using a spoon with that left hand. Um, he can also do a lot more um, fiddly things with his hands. So he is, his writing has improved already and also um, the strength of his arm above his head has improved. Good boy, pull it through the other side. I can't. Go on, I've got it. There we go. And then what do we do? We pull it back, don't we? So we pull it back this way. And we push that in. And then you push it that, that way. And then you have to thread it through that bit. Oh, I'll do that one, you do the next one. There we go. Stand it up nicely first and get it. Good boy. Can you get another white one? That's it. Well, you better do it properly then. Okay, up, up in the sky, on the tree. Balance it. Good boy. Keep going. Balance it. Hold it like that. Sit and balance it. Okay, stand it up. In week three, we've noticed a massive difference in Harry. His improvements have been, um, he's been eating his breakfast all by himself. You just put the Weetabix in the bowl and and you can go out the room and it's all gone when you come back. He's not spilling it all over the show and he's confident in himself in doing it. He's not afraid to use his left arm for anything. No, brushing his teeth. He's been trying to help get himself dressed. He's been doing the weights, he's, he's just really, I just think he's happy the whole, though as well. all, His arm has got definition for the yeah. first time, there's an actual muscle in his arm, his shoulder's in a better position, just an overall improvement and across the board. he's confident into when yeah. he's using it, he's, he's not saying I can't do, he's really getting involved and he's, he just seems happier, doesn't he? Because yeah. no, he, he knows now that he can do it. This one is with a paintbrush. You could have, you can do it with a paintbrush after if you want, you can do it higher. Because it's a yeah. And there's the two. Good boy. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's right, big breath in. Hey! forward to having two arms again but I think he's really going to miss. He's got so used to doing everything with yeah. his left arm. And I think he's going to miss having Nicky and, and Tamsin as the reassurance that he knows he can do it. Having them there all the time um, and obviously we're, we've been backing him up but knowing that we know when he comes here that he's going to get encouraged to do it and I'm not sure if he's going to find that a bit strange. Yeah he's, he's built a friendship up hasn't yeah. he? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, loves to see the girls. His ladies. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I think really we can't wait for Tuesday, can we? For the cast to come it's on. It's a big moment. We're counting it, it down, aren't yeah. we? Well, Harry knows he's got three sleeps to go, so yeah, Tuesday will be a big day, I think. I'm worried when we take this, the, uh, the cast off whether how he's going to react to just having two arms again because I can see such an improvement with the arm. I'm really apprehensive. And I'm worried that he just goes straight back to you and he's using his good arm again and the work that's gone on over the yeah. last three weeks. It's nervous, it's nervous. Might not have worked and he just goes back to using his right arm again. It's a bit tense, isn't it? Like yeah, you just not, you don't know what he's going to do yeah. and how he's going to react to it. Yeah.